Detroit Sound. Mm, that's a good question. Um, maybe it's the sound of struggle. It's just a sound that that is raw and comes from not thinking too much, not giving a fuck, just doing you. They say in the hood, you know, pressure or make diamonds or bust pipes. And this pressure really creates the same type of music, in my opinion. It's all electronic music anyway. It's coming out of fucking drum machines. I say just put it all together, you know, and make something fly. The city in itself it reminds me of the musicians. We don't have much, but whatever we do have, whether it's one drum machine, one sequencer, we'll make it work. Physically, we are at the Submerge building. Oh, wow, if you don't know Submerge, then you definitely have some hard work to do. <laughs> Submerge supported and put out so many different artists from Detroit that didn't really have any direction and wanted to get their music out. There's not a lot of places in Detroit where actual upstart artists could go and feel safe and secure to practice this art form. Submerged is a record company that distributes local artists. It's still an inspiration just to see how I could influence so many people rather to make the music or to become DJs. I think it's important just for them to have someone to bring their ideas to, to get what it is they're hearing out of their minds. I was the same way and I was strictly jazz and I got to a point where I've made everything that I could possibly make and then I just came to a standstill working with different techniques and different synthesizers and whatnot. It's almost like I'm starting all over again. It's about the music. Some DJs and some producers stand in front of the music instead of standing behind it. It's not what we're about here. You stand and let the music represent you. That's your music, that's you. They don't play what you hear, play what you are. Take the music that you love, that you grew up with, your background, and then digitize it. See, I grew up on a lot of salsa, merengue, a lot of sambas and Brazilian tracks and put it together. You stay true. I've traveled the world, I do things, and you know, I've, I've even signed autographs to places, but my neighborhood, do you think they care? They don't care how famous you think you are. To them, I'm just Mark. As soon as I change, they'll let me know. They call it a ghetto pass, you know, yeah, they'll take it. There's so much that brought me back to Detroit. It's the funk, you know what I'm saying? The feel, the struggle. Yeah. It just all makes sense. I lived in New York for almost 10 years. I was just doing what New Yorkers do, working hard. My total focus at that time was to get placements on records, you know. I was working with everybody. Just being out there trying to chase that shit, I just felt like I was wasting my fucking time. So I came back to kind of dig deep. I wanted to make some shit that had never been heard before. And that's what I did. The sound is very much like my city. We're making shit that you don't even know what the fuck it is. Particularly in this building, there are no boundaries here really. We're slowly becoming a genreless city. There's beauty in that. Detroit is nothing like it seems on the surface. You look around, you see these shitty abandoned homes and all the stuff that you might think that it's just pure chaos. 
But behind those walls are working artists and people who are liberating themselves from the circumstances that is on the surface. Some people say that Detroit is rebuilding. I don't see it that way. I think we've constantly been building. As an artist, I'm in the best space I could ever be in. I'm really going for something, like no genre. I mean, it's dance music, but uh, it's mutant dance music. Like, it's not house or techno. I'm looking for something that's just unique, raw sound. And I think we've achieved it thus far. The music was made here, the records were pressed here and shipped out of here. And I think people all over the world appreciate that. I think it's really important. Detroit's a very independent place. There's a lot of time, time to be in your studio, time to experiment, learn your equipment. There's lots of people to ask, how do you do this, how do you do that? It's how do I start my own label, how do I get a record made? Being here, it gives you the freedom to, to take risks. I have to worry if, if everyone's gonna love it because it doesn't matter. For me to be able to be honest with my art, that's priceless. There's no trade-off I would give for that. There's a lot of money out there. I can make money doing other things, but I don't need to sell out. This is something I love doing. It's an honest city. There's no room to try to be something that it's not. If you like it, great. If not, it's not too much we can do for you right now. There's lots of work to be done, and I think the closer I am to this area, the better. Yeah, I'm a believer in Detroit, for sure. <laughs>